everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and tonight we're going to show you how to make a fabric tutu. Isn't that adorable? So to do this we're going to need some measurements. So we need a waist measurement and the length measurement. Once you have those we can start cutting out the fabric. So we are going to do a Halloween fabric for this tutorial since Halloween is just around the corner. So on your worksheet, which is available on our website, www.beyondfabricinc.com, it's a free download, it's going to want to know how full you want this tutu to be. So you can do double fullness, two and a half fullness, or three times fullness. This one is three times fullness because we want a really full tutu. And that's what we're going to cut tonight in class. I would not do anything less than two times fullness uh, just because it's a tutu. We want some fullness. All right, so we have decided we want three times fullness. This is going to be for my great niece, Madeline. And so I have her waist measurement. Her waist measurement is 21 inches. So with that, I need to multiply it by three because that is our multiplier, three times. So 21 times three is 20, 40, 63. Since I don't have a calculator, you don't get to watch me do it in my head. So 63 inches. Now with this, we're going to cut strips of two inches. So 63 is not divisible by two, so we want to round to the nearest even number. So 64 inches is what we need to be able to have that fullness for our tutu. However, our fabric is only 44 inches wide. So we are going to need two pieces. So take that 64, divided by two, so that gives me 32 inches. So I will need to cut two pieces that are 32, inch, 32 inches and I will seam them together. If you have a measurement with your multiplier that is wide enough to fit on the width of your fabric, then you just need one seam. For every seam you have, you need to add a half an inch. So we are going to do two pieces of fabric. We have 32 inches, so we're gonna have 32 and a half and 32 and a half because we'll have a seam here and a seam there. So we're gonna cut two pieces that are 32 and a half. Now, if your board is not very big, or to me it's just easier to fold your fabric, then fold your fabric in half and we're gonna use the fold here. And then we're going to cut half the 32 and a half. So now our measurement is 16 and a quarter. So hopefully you followed along. If not, there's a worksheet for you. Let's get our fabric cut. So we have our spooky fabric here. Now there's definitely a top and a bottom. So we wanna make sure I'm gonna flip this around. So now, unfortunately you will see it upside down, but I need to be able to cut up to the top, which will be up here and my bottom will be down here. So I apologize, but I cannot cut upside down, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm using my fold here. making sure all of my fabric, and if you notice on the edge here, I have free wash because this is a clothing item, I free wash. So let's go ahead and straighten up this top. Oh no, I'm gonna cut the kitty in half. Okay, so now we need to know our length. The length of her finished skirt is going to be 12 inches. However, I will have it attached to our inside piece because this is going to be a double layer. So I have a half inch there, and then we're going to do a little half inch ruffle at the top. So I need to add an inch to whatever my desired length is. So now we will have 13 inches as our length. So 10, 13. On the bottom, because we are not going to hem all these strips, because that would be silly, uh, we are going to use a pinking blade on our rotary cutter. This will help eliminate a lot of the fraying when we go to wash it. This is a tutu, it is a rag skirt, so their normal fraying um, is allowed, but we don't want this to just like have lots and lots of frays. So we're gonna use our pinking blade to cut it. So the bottom needs to be cut with the pinking blade, because the top will be sewn in. Okay. 
and we remembered that our width was 16 and a quarter because our total size needed to be 32 and a half. So let's go ahead and cut that. and a quarter. Again, we are using our pinking blade to cut this. Now we need to go down two inches from the top because this is going to include our half inch where it's sewn to the back, our half inch for our little header, and then one inch casing for our three quarter inch elastic. So I'm using the Choco liner and I'm just gonna make a mark right there because our strips are gonna go straight up to that line. Now, the reason why we have this quarter inch over here is because when you seam it to your other side, we're gonna use a quarter inch seam to connect those two. So from this line to here is where our quarter inch seam will be the bottom part we don't need, so go ahead and cut off just the bottom under the line, that quarter inch. Just to the line. There we go. Now, every two inches we're going to strip up. Don't start on the fold unless you want to do an inch on the fold, but then it it throws all the math off, so I just like to start at this edge, two inches, and then when we get to the end where the fold is, because we used even numbers, we'll have two inches left and we'll just cut it right down the middle. we have our strips cut. We still have to cut this middle one, so let's open this up. Look how cute! And we have a line already. We're just going to cut There we are. We have one side of the front side of our skirt done. Go ahead and cut out the other one. Now we have the other side of our outer layer of our fabric tutu. Now do the same thing with your lining piece. So we have one piece for the front, one piece for the back of our outer layer, and then we're going to have an under layer, and it's going to be this fun orange fabric. And so we have one piece for one side and one piece for the other. Now we need to attach our lining pieces together and then t attach our outer pieces together. Your outer piece, the one that's showing on the top layer, needs to be put right sides together. And then we left that little quarter inch lip there. That's where you're going to stitch straight down. those we're gonna sew now on your liner these you're gonna put wrong sides together let me repeat wrong sides together I know it's unnatural and if you have a fabric like this which is kind of hard to tell um, but you can see that one side is a little bit lighter than the other so make sure to put these wrong sides together and again quarter inch straight down. Go so. 
All right, let's go ahead using a quarter inch seam and attach our layers. Once we have these sewn, we need to go to the iron and press them open. So we have our outer layer already sewn together, seams are pressed open. We have our liner sewn together, again, seams are pressed open. We are going to layer these right sides together. Now, instead of matching up our seams, because then that's going to put them right on top of each other, we want to overlap. So move this over an inch so that it is right in the middle of the block below it. So when you have it layered on top, you still see background fabric. So just move it over an inch. We're going to do this all the way around, making sure it is even, pin it in place, and then we're going to attach. We have it attached. Now we're going to sew a half inch from the top all the way around. Make sure when you are attaching these layers that you do not get any of the strips caught up underneath. We have them sewn together and offset. We're going to go to the iron and press the seam over to the outside fabric. So press the seam over to the outside fabric. Now that we've pressed all the way around, we are going to fold this up and press one more time so that it lays flat. Have it all pressed and you can see now with it laying on top why we offset that and also why we did the liner wrong sides together instead of right sides together that way if you do have a one-sided fabric like this one on the inside then both prints are facing out so now we're going to go to the machine and sew a half inch in all the way around and then we're going to sew an inch in from that line leaving a space for us to run our elastic. Again, making sure not to get any of your strips caught underneath. We have 
sewn all the way around. Now let's go ahead and do that last bottom stitch so that we can run our elastic and have a tutu skirt. So make sure when you're coming up on the start, leave a hole to be able to run the elastic. Now we will need to run our elastic so that this will fit my niece. Whatever your waist measurement is, you need to subtract one and a half to two inches. Subtract. The reason why is because as this is fed in, it's going to stretch out. We want it to be a little tight. It's not going to suffocate them, I promise. Just subtract one and a half to two inches, which has already been done. So let's feed this through. So we're feeding the elastic between the two layers. And I'm going to take my other end of the elastic and clip it to the start so I don't accidentally feed it all in. I'm using just a giant safety pin to run it in. Once you start getting back to the front, make sure that nothing twisted. We are using three quarter inch non roll elastic. Let me find my safety pin. We're going to take our two ends after we remove our safety pin. We're going to overlap them and then stitch it like crazy. At this point, you can try it on the child or yourself. Make sure it fits whoever it was made for. And if it fits, then you can close up your hole. So just continue sewing along where we had left that opening. Let me get it all a little different around. And now we have a super cute tutu. Man, I wish I had one for myself. <laughs> oh, whoa, wait a second. 
thinking, hey, I didn't know my camera person was also a witch. Oof. I better watch out what I say. It's rather cute, though. I like it. I'm going to have to wear this to work every day. So see, you can make a tutu for yourself. Quick, easy, very easy Halloween costume, especially if you have my camera person. Thank you so much for joining us for another Make It Monday. We hope you join us again for another video. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, here on our YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, check out our YouTube channel and make sure to click that bell so you'll get notified every time we put another video up. Have a wonderful Halloween! Thank you.